What's up, chat? What's up, guys? How do I change my walk style, chat? How do I change walk style? Anyone know? Holy shit. Also, I have a little bag on my back and I have no idea how to get rid of it. Just a little back sack, yeah. I'm gonna be selling soap, chat. We'll be selling soap. I have no idea where Wu and Antonio are. Oh shit, you really sprint. <sighs> Can't black bars? Oh my. Oh! Uh, uh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Wait, I'm gonna start the song over. What the fuck? He just tipped my hat at me. I don't even know where to go, chat. This is so cool, though. Barber and Crosby. Can we go in here? People are saying Jesse kind of... Okay, chill, chill, chat, chill. He's why Jesse's, Jesse's a young boy. Jesse's supposed to be like 19. What? Dude, you like what? Oh. How do I modulate? Oh. That's yelling, okay. Jesse's like a mix of, uh, uh, you'll find out, but he's uh, largely inspired by Ulysses Everett and Huckleberry Finn. Bro, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where anyone is, but it seems so like big. Like, I don't, this seems crazy. Guys, this game looks unbelievable. I have the expectation that, oh, City Hall. I need to go and to the tailor and get this stupid bag taken care of. Oh, what's in my inventory? $83 to my name. Bro, go hunting. Yo, where's the bank chat? Let's go. Let's go rob that shit. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <gasps> I okay, well, F punches. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> A class horse. Chill, chat, chill. Oh my god. The up air to smoke. Oh, to spit. What's going on, chat? Uh I'm gonna need your help. Yeah, I care I'm going for like a 19-year-old by Cuckleberry Finn kind of vibe, uh, Omi. Homeware. Guys, we're here. Uh, uh, my character has one mission. To whip up a batch of his father's famous soap. Clean boy's soap. And sell to the people of St. Dennis the finest smoke, or finest soap around. Oh, people. Oh, I can't hear them. I can't hear them. Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I can't hear them. Why can't I hear them? Why can't I hear them? Chat, what do I set it as? Hold on. Okay, hold on. Action lock. It's lighting up when I, when I press it. It's lighting up. Okay. We met a game from Tony. Okay. I think I've got it figured out. <gasps> Wait, what? Is that Wu? Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, that was them. Okay, I can hear them. I can hear... Oh. Excuse me, sir. Can you hear me? Howdy. Uh, oh, howdy there, sir. Uh, can you hear me there, sir? Absolutely, yes, I can. Well, sir, my name is Flynn. Jesse Flynn. Now, listen, my family left me a large fortune, some $3,000. For some reason, I can't seem to find it here in the bank. I, I was wondering if you could... Spare me just a little bit of change. I, I'll have the money soon enough. Uh, well, how much are you asking for? Why, God bless your soul, sir. Not that much. Not that much today at all. Just five, ten dollars would be fine. Just fine. Oh, well, you know what? <laughs> five or ten dollars? I don't mind at all. Here. Oh, God bless your soul. God bless your soul. Again. Oh. Uh. How do I...
Again, so bless your soul. My name is Jesse Jesse Flint. Now, I promise when I have the money and the means again, like I said, my family left me a large fortune. I'm just waiting for that to come through and I'll get that money to you right away. Thank you, sir. God bless you. And what was your name? Oh, my name is Jim. Jim Scott. Mr. Scott, bless your soul. I just uh, came here from uh, Mississippi. Like I said, my father left me a large fortune. I'm just trying to get a hold of that fortune. And when I find that money, I'll be sure to come find you. Thank you, Mr. Scott. Not a problem at all. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Jesse, by the way, Jesse Flint is just completely going to be scamming people. Fuck, that was sick. How do I know if people are NPCs or actual people? Is that like something I should know? You don't? You just talk? Oh, that looks like an actual, uh, <laughs> seems like an actual person. $10 heist. Oh, what this building is. Is there a map? I don't think I own a map, so I don't think I can see where I am. Evening there, sup? Oh, welcome back. Oh, that's Jim again. Oh, hey, by the way, uh, your name was, what again? My name's Jesse. Jesse Flint. Pleasure again. Jesse. Uh, hey, listen, uh, if you ever need to pay me back that money, uh, you want to take down my telegram number? The telegram? No, I... Oh, see, back where I'm from, we ain't got any of them fancy telegrams. I, d I didn't know that that was a, a thing here. Uh, well, follow me. Come over here. Uh, there will be a number you can uh, you can uh, go ahead and get. So, so at your top right there, there'll be a number. A number will correlate, uh, like a number that the state's giving you, where I'm able to contact you, you're able to contact me. Uh, so, so mine, and you want to you wanna write this down, okay? Uh, all right there, sir. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello. Oh my god. Oh, you're. You alright? Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Let me try helping you up there, my friend. You know, oh. let me go and just help you up here. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm feeling stronger again. Come on, you can do this. Uh, oh, are you feeling any better? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Feeling much better. Uh, now, how exactly do I go about composing this here number? Ah, of course. There should be a, uh, you know, a, a, sen a sender's name. And the uh, recipient's name. Now, the recipient, you want to put in my number I just gave you. Okay, and what number is that, sir? That number is going to be PN989. Alright, sir, did you get that? I, I sent it over your way. It's going to take a moment for the uh, telegram man to in, uh, send a letter, so go ahead and give me yours, and I'll go ahead and we'll go back and forth. You said you're new to the state, right? Uh, yes, sir. I mean, just coming off from Mississippi, I was traveling by train. Like I said, my father has a large fortune. I'm here to open up his business out here. Well, you say you're you say you're new and you're going to get $3,000. Well, until then, I believe you need a horse. Oh, and how might I go back in one of those? Well, come with me, and I'll show you. Oh, hell yeah. Hop up. Let me help you. Let me help you up. You know. Oh. <laughs> I'm so. I'm so sorry. No, no, it's, it's fine. Yo, ease on top. Come on. Ease on top. You can do it. Ease. Oh, e. You can do it. Come on. Pressing E. Sir, I don't believe I've ever learned to ride a horse. <laughs> I know. Listen. <laughs> you need to ease on top. All right. Come on. Help, uh, Tony. Oh shit. I'm trying to find. A, <laughs> trying to find a decent way to turn this fella to get on my horses. Kind of hard. So I don't believe I ever learned how to ride a horse. Quite frankly, it scared me. Back where I come from, see, we we ran around the streets. Tell you what, <laughs> I don't know how to get we'll, buy, we'll, 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 we'll get you one, okay? <laughs> we'll, just, we'll walk there together. Chad, I'm so confused. Chad, I am well, holding you. Tell, tell me about your family. What they all about? Well, so my my mama died when I was uh, just a little boy, and and like I said, my father, very wealthy man, left me a large fortune that uh, should be arriving any day now. So, what would your what your father do in order to get so much money? Uh, see, my father has a secret recipe, sir, for the finest soap you've ever seen, the cleanest soap. Oh, clean boys soap. That's right. Soap so fine it'll make you run faster, make you see the sunshine brighter. That's Clean Boy Soap. I'll be making it here. Oh, Clean Boy Soap. Well, that sounds, uh, sounds exciting. So, where are you from? Oh, out on the Delta there in Mississippi. Now, you see, the beauty about my father's soap, I mean, everyone needs to be, you know, hygienic these days. Can't be running around the streets looking all uh, grimy. I will admit, in my current attire, I am a little bit under the weather. But like I said, once I find my poppy secret recipe, I'll soon make that soap myself. That's my goal. Coming here to, uh, St. Dennis, correct? Of course. You know, I'm gonna help you out with a few things. Um, we'll get you a horse. We're going to get you clean clothing. And we'll go ahead and get you uh, a gun as well. All right. So, I'm gonna give you about a hundred dollar limit, okay? Go ahead. 
Go up there to the stable master near the register there and pick out a horse for that $100 limit. Oh my god. Purchase horse. Oh my god. They're expensive. A plus horse! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to. What? This is crazy. Oh, that's a pretty horse. Ooh, I like Mustang though. We name our horse Mickey Chap. <laughs> name it Kitty. No, no, no. Oh, I. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I don't have enough money. Wait, what? Sir, so it says I don't have the the funds to purchase that horse. There. Well, of course you don't. I need to give you the money. I just want to make sure you know which horse you want first before you spend the money on one. I know exactly which horse. I saw, I saw it, laid eyes on it. Beautiful creature, so beautiful. Oh, uh, it was a hundred on the dime. All right, well, there you go. Oh, sick. Oh, I own a horse. I own Randy. I think I'm going to name him Randy. That that feels like a nice name. You know, Randy sounds like a mighty fine name. So go ahead and, uh, you know, you want to whistle, you know? Uh, How do I whistle, chat? You know, there you go. Excellent. And there's Randy. He's looking very mighty. Go ahead. You want to ease on up. There we oh. go. Uh oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, Jim, why would you do that? Oh, I'm, I'm very sorry. My goodness. Where are my manners? Yeah, it's all right there, Jim. Listen, I understand you're trying to teach me how to ride, you know, and I got to keep my balance on this. What? And... That's, that's, that's a donkey. All right, right here. Now, I'm going to take out 200 bucks and get you all sorted out. Hmm? I appreciate this kindly, Mr. Sky. And like I said, when my father's fortune comes through, I'll surely uh, think kindly of you. Well, I appreciate that. And if it does bad, well, uh, you know, I hope I do with you with any kind of kindness, but I'm not expecting it, though. And do you, do you mind if I ride around to there, Jesse? Oh, not at all, sir. Not at all. Yes, that's right, sir. Oh! <laughs> oh. It's just fine. Gotta be oh, I... So I, I I feel like I I, I just want to rip you off of Randy. I don't like you riding him. Of course, yeah, I understand. I don't know how to exit PVP. I can't open up the console chat because I, I can't open up the console chat because I. What, what was that? <laughs> so I, what? Uh, so, I, so I was coughing there a little bit. What, what was? Yeah, of course. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he hot mics so unfortunate. <laughs> Uh, give me one moment there, sir. I, how do I pull up the chat? Guys, I unbound it from T. I use T as push to talk. I use uh, T as push to talk. It's not T. It's not T. I unbound it. I unbound it. I unbound it. I unbound it. Uh, is that it? Oh, there we go. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm feeling, I'm feeling much friendlier, sir. <laughs> All right. Here's the doors right here. Come on this way. Now, what, should, what sort of armament should I be looking at here? I, like I said, I, I was peaceful out in Mississippi. I don't know how to shoot any of all of these guns. Well, there's something you don't have to worry about. You don't worry about buying it? I'm buying it for you. Well, Jim, bless your soul. And like I said, my dad is very wealthy, man. I'm receiving a large fortune from him any day now. Of course. And I'll look after you once that fortune comes through. Hey, my friend, listen. Don't you worry about a dang thing, okay? Just, if you have the money... You have the money, and if you don't, don't worry about it. Oh, well, I do have the money, so like I said, my father created one of the most incredible formulas for soap. Now, he is a prolific salesman back out in Mississippi, and once I figure out the recipe to the clean boy's soap, I'll be making a small fortune myself out here in St. Denise. Well, hey, we had the money. Let me know, okay? Of course, of course. So like I said, it's a large fortune coming in soon. Well, in that case, until that day comes... You won't have to worry about that, now will you? That's right, Jim, and I appreciate the kindness of your heart. All right, well, follow me, and I'll go ahead and get you longer. But before I do that, we need to get you uh, set up into a bit more uh, proper clothing, my friend. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get a little bit of money here. We're going to go ahead and change you up into different clothing, and uh, we'll go ahead and... Uh, are you attached to the clothes you're having, or do you not mind changing? Well, I do, uh, I do feel like I have this little satchel stuck to my back, which I have been trying to get rid of for some time now, so maybe uh, some new overalls would be nice. You know you're not wearing a shirt? Uh, yes, ma'am, he is well aware. We're getting them changed up real soon. All right. Guys, Jesse's a scammer, by the way. Come on out here. So, I'm going to give you 50 bucks. There's a, a change room in the back. 
go ahead and get yourself a nice shirt on, some some uh, pants and some shoes, and make sure you get a gun belt when you like, okay? Oh, I will. I will indeed, sir. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, oh. Let, me, let me get the 50 bucks first there. Slow down. Oh, let me uh, take that there from you. Of course. There you go, my friend. I'll be right outside. Uh, thank you kindly, Mr. Sky. Oh, you want to go there in the back, my friend. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, to Jesse, to your right. There you go, my friend. All right. Default outfit. Purchase outfit. Uh, new outfit. We need to not look as... R I like the overalls, though, chat. Hold on. I like overalls. What shirt are we thinking? We just do a basic shirt like that. The <laughs> Mario looking ass. Okay, good point. I don't think I wear a vest with that. Could throw on some kind of jacket. Oh, black looks kind of nice. Something blue. I don't know if there's a blue shirt. That's kind of bluish, right? All right, we need actual shoot, uh, shoes, though, like boots. Those are kind of sick. Yeah, we're going for Oh Brother, Where Art Thou vibes, chat. Oh, dude, this is the worst time for a Buddha raid. Oh, my God. I, uh, different colors. Woo raid. Oh, gun belt, gun belt. Hell, dude, we, I want to go full janky. Gun belt, does that work? Yeah. That's the vibe. That Mr. Scott, I feel right as rain. I'm there, friend. very, very happy to hear that. Oh, pleasure's all mine, sir. Pleasure is all mine. By the way, my name is Jesse Flint. Jesse? Nice to meet you, Mr. Jesse. Victor. No, oh, Victor, you remind me of my father. Very beautiful mustache. Uh, you know, my father actually used to sell some wax. You know, he, I'd be happy to, to sort you out with some if you wanted to be looking even shinier. For a small investment, one or two dollars, I could work to try to find you some of that wax here in uh, St. Denise. I, I, I run these streets out here. Oh, oh, sir, no disrespect. No disrespect at all. Like I said, the mustache looks shiny. Shiny as need be. I think he's saying, you know, you know, you know, uh, maybe high quality wax make it even look nicer, maybe. That's as nice as it already is, Victor. Mm. <laughs> Son, if you, if you want some money, you can just ask for some money. Oh, no, sir. No, sir. I don't need any money. See, as I was telling Mr. Sky here, I'm coming from Mississippi. Now, my father has a very large fortune. Very large fortune indeed. And it's going to be coming in any day now. Any day. This exact same story. Mine's the Mississippi part yesterday. Well, you never know. A lot of people get their fortunes, come out here out west. That's the way it is. Oh, unfortunately, Mr. Scott, I feel my narcolepsy uh, coming on. I, I, I'll... Let's get, let's get you down to the best here. Chat, the whole point of Jesse is he's gonna, he tries to just scam everyone for money. I'm going to sell snake oil. Yeah, Jesse's a con man. That's the whole point. Now, let me go ahead and grab your gun, and then uh, let, and you go ahead and get some shit. Oh, what do I do? Uh, close? And there you go. You can't shoot a pistol if you don't have bullets, my friend. All right, now go ahead. What I want you to do there is grab that gun in your inventory, you know, in your back, you know, your back pocket. And go ahead and uh, go ahead and, uh, and put that right there in your first pocket. First little hold of it. Oh, what was that, Victor? Oh, Jesus Christ, son. It's not loaded. It's not oh, loaded. Oh, don't worry about it. It was unloaded. Oh, it's not loaded there, partner. Goddamn. Uh, what were we seeing, Victor? You heading out to Valentine's soon? Uh, my boot, my dude, why is that? Well, I'm about to head out that way myself, so. Hey, I'll, sure. I'll wait for you. All right, then. Uh, yeah, uh, let me go ahead and uh, fix him up, and then I'll get out of here in about a minute or two. Mm -hmm. Sounds good, sounds good. Uh, come ahead and follow me, Jesse. It was nice to meet you, Mr. Jesse. Oh, thank you so much. Our pleasure. Pleasure was all mine. <laughs> I'm fucking scamming. I'm gonna get killed, guys. <laughs> well, I want to give it to you. I don't expect you to use it. But there are wolves in the state. Well, it's like my poppy always used to say, you know, better to not need it and use it than need it and not new use it when you have it. That you had it. That's right. That's what your poppy always used to say. Ah! Now, now, make sure you lock the door behind you, of course. But this is your sleeping quarters. Now, in about an hour, I'll come pick you up and we'll teach you how to use a gun. Mr. Scott, thank you so much. I, I promise not to let you down. Hey, listen. I have a spot open for a uh, for a certain job that I need done. Of course, I'm going to ask you for your consent and everything, but I got a job planned, and unfortunately, one of the members had backed out. So I might invite you, of course, if you're into that type of thing. Oh, sir, I can do any sort of job here. Cooking, cleaning, I know how to sell anything. I can sell water to a fish. I can sell snow to a polar bear. Okay. Oh, <laughs> well, you, you, want, you want to snuggle with him tonight? I've, uh, I'm just going to things move around in here. Of course. Well, listen. Uh, are you good at carrying heavy things? 
Oh, uh, yes, sir. Yeah? Used to run up and up and down Mississippi River carrying all sorts of things from a poppy. Actually, and you're good at running as well. That's right, sir. One of the fastest boys in Mississippi. Okay. Last thing's last. Are you good with your hands? Well, fine ladies of St. Dennis haven't met me on that front yet, but they'll soon be acquainted. Oh, well, very good. Day. Well, <laughs> come, uh, come by an hour. I'll come pick you up. We got some things to do, my friend. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Sky. I appreciate you. Not a problem at all, Jesse. I'll see you then, my friend. Oh, Jesse's gonna. I'm doing ERP on Jesse. Easy. Well, that was fucking awesome. Holy shit. Dude, that was so fucking sick. <laughs>